Most people die at 25 and aren't buried until they're 75. Benjamin Franklin said that. Now, that usually refers to like people not living their passion, not living who they want to become or doing what they want to do or whatever, working for the man, whatever, for years on end, and then kind of slowly chipping away at their soul until they wake up a hollow shell, midlife crisis, etc. And that's not really the thing here, though. Our civilization, you could say, the way we live as modern humans has made a drastic change, especially in America, maybe not so much in other countries, but definitely in America over the last probably 50 years, where even in suburban neighborhoods in America, you would know your neighbors. You would probably have relationships with them. But as our countries become more fluent and as the vices and busyness and hustle culture and all these other things have taken over, we've more and more become isolated. And this is counterintuitive, you could say, to our species and how we're designed. We are designed to be tribal creatures. This chart behind you, me, <laughs> is so prescient and telling and scary at the same time. And as a almost 40 adult with three kids living in a big city like Austin, where I know a lot of people, but I don't really hang out with a lot of people. I've been thinking about this for years now. In my mind, the answer is go get a family compound or friends and family compound, get a hundred acres and have everybody move there. And yeah, like I still want to do that, but that's not really financially viable for us right now. And probably not for a lot of the people that would want to come there. <laughs> so look at this, look at this chart though. Uh, so you have hours per day and you have 2003 to 2015, how these have trended down, which explains so much of the loneliness crisis and the meaning crisis we have. You see that we went from probably three hours a day on average, and even that has been coming down probably since like the 50s, 30s, 20s, whatever, especially when communities were much smaller, there wasn't globalization, you couldn't just get on a plane and fly across the world, like that wasn't as viable. And so you spent more time in your local community, and as a result, you had deeper relationships and not the same type of meaning crisis and loneliness epidemic that we have today. You can see how it's gone down, right? And even with parents, sibling, and family, it's gone down from probably four, four hours a day, about average, all the way down to like two to one-ish. And then you can see coworkers per day. Uh, it's gone up and then it's slowly trended down. And that's kind of interesting. I mean, that's, uh, what is that? Like, I guess more, that could be more remote type work, knowledge work. So maybe that explains that trend, but I don't know. Uh, and then also even children. Like, I, I'm not really sure this chart, how this, why this would come down. So it's, it's kind of interesting. But you can see partner here, uh, it's kind of went up, peaks, 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 come down. And then you can see the most important line in this graph is that alone, just straight up into the right. The amount of time we spend alone is just up there, right? <laughs> and the fact that we spend less time with friends and family, we spend more time alone or with a singular partner, and then we basically lean on that partner to be like everything to us because we spend so much time with them. Or what I've even noticed, I default spending most time with my kids and, and, and my partner because I kind of want to. I don't really want to go out and do shit. And, you know, I'm, I'm just at that age in life where I just kind of want to work, gym, family. That's fine. But you have to have adult relationships. Like you literally have to or you will lose your mind. So there's a lot of implications to this. This is just something to think about. Um, in fact, he gives a few examples of what to do about this. Standing events is absolutely massive. It is so hard to get people together. It's like wrangling cats in today's day and age. Everybody's so busy, they're scheduled, they're this. They, they show up for an hour maybe and then they gotta go somewhere else to the next thing. It's really hard to get people to come together on a regular basis, but creating some kind of standing event where you can show up, you don't have to, it's not expected, there's no expectation around it, and it's the same time every week, game changer, right? So. Figure out how to do that maybe at your house once a week or month or bi-weekly or whatever uh, at a family member's house, same thing. And then just take turns. Like maybe the first Monday of every month you do dinner at your in-laws or your parents' house or whatever. And then your sister, your brother. Just make things recurring and consistent because human adult relationships and happiness is based on connection. And connection is based on, uh, you could say, consistency, but also proximity. You have to spend time with people on a regular, ongoing basis to build deep, meaningful relationships. And to be a happy, healthy human, you have to build deep, meaningful relationships.